Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope everyone, all of you are doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I'm going to be giving you information on a few stories. Firstly, Football.London have given a bunch of injury updates and potential return dates, which I want to cite to you guys to let you know what's happening with the injured players. Frank Lampard has commented about where Chelsea are at the moment, you know, how they're not challenging for leagues, how they need a big rebuild and essentially stuff needs to change at Chelsea Football Club. N'Golo Kante wants to stay at Chelsea apparently amongst all the potential exit rumours. And Michy Abachwai. <laughs> time's nearly up man. It's time's nearly up at Chelsea. He's nearly done his whole contract and what, what's going to happen with him? Apparently, he's going to be sold. A bunch of interesting stuff to go through today, but before we get into it, I want to remind you guys to subscribe, please, to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, hit that sub button, bell notification icon, because that is important. Why not like the video to help out your boy? Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to do some live streams soon. All right, let's get into it. Right, let's start with the injured N'Golo Kante. He's been enduring a very, very difficult season indeed, as he's reached the end of his 20s he's been sort of finding problems with injury and because he hasn't really been able to pick up momentum and form this season he's been heavily linked with a summer exit at times because he's the highest earner on Chelsea's books he earns like best part of 300k a week obviously a player on 300k a week that's not playing and there is speculation I mean I've, I've often played devil's advocate on this so I've sat on the fence I'm a N'Golo Kante super fan but I've also looked at the situation objectively and wondered if it is time to cash in uh, a, recently an Italian publication came out and said he's got a desire to leave Chelsea Football Club and the Premier League to come to Serie A in Italy and most notably um, it's insinuated that he wants to go to Juventus now noises out of N'Golo Kante's camp has recently come out to squash this and he does not want to leave Chelsea Football Club certainly in the summer it would have to be something dramatic and drastic for the situation to change he likes being in London he likes playing for Chelsea he wouldn't leave and only if something amazing came up or things switched around would he be sold so keeping N'Golo Kante is generally a positive thing he's a lovely character he's a superb footballer but Chelsea fans are all gonna have to be fingers crossed now that he can get out of this injury slump part of his career and hopefully regain form of his previous glory. Right, before we talk about Michy Batshuayi, I want to cite something that Frank Lampard said in an interview after the Bournemouth draw. Speaking in an interview quoted by the Daily Express, Lampard said, There is a reason why we are where we are. We have not challenged for the Premier League in a couple of years, and we want to close that gap. Come the summer, of course, as a club, we want to move forward and make some decisions. Mm. We're certainly on the same page here, and when I speak to the board and we have our conversations, we know we are fighting for fourth place. Frank Lampard basically insinuates in this interview that Chelsea aren't what they used to be a few years ago. Last season, you know, they did have Eden Hazard carrying Chelsea to third place uh, with his Premier League goal involvements as well as the, I don't know, incompetence of Chelsea's rivals, which seems to remain. But Chelsea are absolutely way off where they used to be, and Frank Lampard is basically reiterating that and saying, look, I know this, the fans know this, the board knows this, and we are looking to make big changes to change this. I think close the gap was the right phraseology, not like we're going to spend big and win the league next season, but we're going to heavily invest and start the uh, the climb to get back to the top echelons of the Premier League. Do you know what I mean? Begin the process. Well, technically the process has already begun, having the conversations, having a look at the youngsters, seeing who can make it, who can't, and then spending in the summer and beginning the rebuild. People might be frustrated that there was no January business, but there's no real good value in the winter market. If you really want to get the best out of value out of all your money and you're intent on spending a lot of money for a rebuild, realistically and ideally that has to be in a summer transfer window so that's positive generally <laughs> i mean chelsea are going to be gagging to finish in fourth spot it's looking like a very 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 difficult feat at the moment but they'll back themselves to try till the end and you know if they can pull off the odd big result here and there and who knows maybe chelsea can finish in the champion league spot against all the odds uh, considering what people are thinking pre-season so, and then it will indeed be a superb season for Chelsea Football Club. Right, let's talk about Michy Batshuayi. He's only got one year left on his contract, which is crazy, really. I remember when he was brought in when Conte came in, and Conte didn't really 
know anything about them. It was very much a club signing. When Chelsea thought they were bringing in a striker in the January transfer window, it's actually been reported that they potentially were happy to sell Michy Batshuayi if they were bringing someone in. Um, <laughs> Apparently it was £40 million asking price, which I think is probably okay, considering he's got actually quite a good goal return, he's in incredibly good shape, he's two-footed, he frustrates many Chelsea fans because he's always offside, um, he can waste chances, he's a streaky player, but he's shown as a streaky player he can have some positive streaks as well, and he can score the odd big goal in a big game. So, two years left on his contract, 26 years old I think he is in his prime, £40 million? Fine, do you know what I mean? When you look at someone like Joel Linton who plays for Newcastle, they spent £40 million pounds on him, uh, who's only ever scored, I think Alan Shearer said six league goals, which is mental if you think about it, but someone like Michy Batshuayi as a second striker, scored a few, scored in the Champions League, scored a hat-trick for Chelsea, um, again he's in his prime, he's proven he can deal with the physicality of the Premier League, uh, 40 million is probably about right. No one came in for him and apparently Chelsea are willing to slash that price to get him sold this summer as he enters his final year of his contract. Now, there's been links with the Middle East or China getting a big money move for him and for Chelsea they might get, what, 20 million pounds, maybe a little bit more for a player with one year left on this contract. And I guess, maybe, that makes sense for all parties. But this news just further confirms, you know, Giroud out, Batshuayi out. Ab injured Abraham remains who is yet to be seen if he can really carry Chelsea Football Club on his shoulders so Chelsea are going to have to sign at least one superstar striker and who knows uh, maybe Chelsea bring in Broja that kid that I've done a video on recently and he can be the third striker so we'll have to see what happens but it's exciting times at Chelsea Football Club so I want to keep you guys all updated on the injury news or certainly what football.london published talking about the players that are out at the moment so Tammy Abraham has this injury and he's actually recently been sent to Barcelona to get a second medical opinion on the injury Abraham sustained this or exacerbated this injury with a collision with Jerome Boateng in the Bayern Munich game Frank Lampard hasn't actually given any updates of when he's going to return only that he's gone to Barcelona to have his ankle looked at but it could be a couple of weeks it could be longer he needs to be fully fit to be running around on the pitch for Chelsea we've already spoken about him once this video and Golo Kante of course is injured he came off it doesn't look great for him he's got an abductor injury it needs to be scanned but in Frank Lampard's own words it does not look great which is disappointing and kind of worrying Ruben Loftus-Cheek is fit obviously he's not played yet so people are still putting him in the injury bracket category but he is fit he's physical fitness is fine he, he's played some games for the development squads but Chelsea are, I've said in previous videos that he needs to come on in a game where Chelsea are comfortable not when he has the pressure to change it and he's gonna potentially be flustered or be overwhelmed by the physicality of a game he needs to be eased in back into the first team in terms of match minutes and the mysterious injury of Christian Pulisic which also is an abductor I think there's no news about him. Everyone thought he was going to be out for five weeks. He's been out for a lot longer. And to be honest, as they try and get him back into training, have a look at the injury, it's kind of being a very frustrating situation. And Frank Lampard and the medical staff do not know when he'll be able to return to the first team. It's a peculiar one and it's very frustrating because he had been very influential for Chelsea. He'd been a fantastic player. Frank Lampard come up and said this recently himself, how it's frustrating for everyone, how he was in a good vein of form. Well, hopefully he'll come back before the end of the season and put in some good performances with the likes of Ruben Loftus-Cheek to help Chelsea secure that potentially elusive top four spot. Anyway, I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on the topics I've spoken about in this video. N'Golo Kante, do you see him coming back to full fitness and being his self, true old self again? I do worry. I mean, if he can come back to his best, that will be hugely positive and influential for Chelsea. I just have reservations. Um, it's nice that he wants to stay at Chelsea and that makes you feel like a stronger bond with him. But I do worry that he'll stay at Chelsea for a few years, 300k a week. You know, he won't get back to his best and his value will go from 150 million to 20 million. I know that's quite a cynical way of looking at it, but you, if you want the best for your team in terms of a rebuild, you've got to look at it objectively. But in terms of his allegiance to Chelsea, I do respect that and hope, hope he gets back to his best. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Also, comment on Michy Batshuayi, man. <laughs> what do you think of him? Where do you think he'll go? How do you reflect on his time at Chelsea, etc.? get down in the comments and pretty much comment on everything else i've spoken about in this video and if you've enjoyed the content guys please do like the videos that means a lot why not subscribe to the channel if you're new 
Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. You lot all enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.